Let's start the mailbag. Uh, let's start off hot. Cameron Rainey. Subject is regarding Meltzer versus Dax. Good afternoon. I wonder if you guys seen... This is just bad grammar. I wanted to know if you guys seen the Twitter exchange between Dave Meltzer and Dax Harwood. Dax and Dave disagreed. The Bucks are tra- aren't trying to bury FTR, and Dave responded after the tweet. And I want to know your comments on his audio, and do you think the Bucks fear FTR? Um, we're not going to listen to this, Clay. Yeah, it's about six minutes. We'll go, we'll go over the tweets, yeah. It's basically right. um, Dax and Meltzer were going back and forth about the Young Bucks and whether or not the Young Bucks are... <laughs> scared to work with them or holding them down and people there's a lot of conspiracy theories from the AEW fans swirling around right. why aren't FTR getting the AEW tag title shots Do the Young Bucks have a problem with them and that kind of thing so uh, a fan tweeted at Meltzer about the potential Young Bucks and FTR backstage heat writing people read who, that tweet people who think the Young Bucks are bearing FTR or scare them in some way are the biggest losers on wrestling Twitter when Dave responded with a somewhat flippant quit Uncle Dax came in with a succinct and polite f*** off writing. Dave, what did Dave, Dave wrote, actually, there are people who learn from Alex Jones types and can't read. And Dax responded, Dave, with all due respect, f*** off. Like, in the most respectful and loving way, I mean that. When you decide to get two sides of a story, then speak on it. Thanks, dude. Right. So Dax is basically saying, he's echoing what the, the, the like, basically, they're kind of like, the fan is saying, oh, there's no way that the Bucks are scared of FDR. And Dave's saying, people that think like this are like Alex Jones types. Yeah. And Dax is saying, uh, with all due respect, Dave, f- off. Like, like basically, she's saying that this, that that narrative is, is very, is, they're trying to say that narrative is true. That these guys are not, don't want to do an angle with them. And that's, and bro, they're, and, they're, and like, I'll ask this question Why are the Young Bucks and the FTR not in an angle with each other? It's your classic 2022 Midnight Express versus Rock and Roll Express. Two tag teams, which this fan base, the Smart Marks, all think are like two of the greatest tag teams in wrestling today. And bro, one team wants to do an angle, and the other team does not want to. One of the teams is executive vice presidents. The other team, the other team is just talent. Yeah, but I, it's I mean, talent it's kind of a lot of power. Here's right. what I think. This is what Let's I think. It. It's very hard to believe that something would be happening because a, I believe the Bucks are the ones that brought them in. Mm-hmm. I also believe they're very good friends. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, I know both teams have worked with both very closely. Uh, I the Bucks are probably one of the most unselfish people I've ever met. But if Dax is coming out publicly because Dax is a real <laughs> and he's telling Uncle Dave, "Yo, you don't got your <laughs> right." Obviously, there's something Dave doesn't right. know. Okay, well, and he's smoke just getting fire. and he's getting his information maybe just from the Young Bucks or Tony not from FTR, okay? Mm -hmm. And so they might have had some sort of problem we don't know about, we're not privy to, and the Bucks said, f*** it, we don't want to work with them. Or FTR thinks they don't want to work with them because they're doing this trio thing instead, which I think the only reason doing doing this trio thing is because, you know, Kenny Omega is coming back and trio matches have kind of gained in popularity since Lucha is so popular. But... um, you know, they might be putting FTR and Young Bucks on the back burner because of that. And maybe FTR is hot about it. Or maybe there is an actual issue we don't know about. You know what I'm saying? So, right. yeah. Well, you'd think with all yeah, that coming I've, up. I, yeah. I absolutely think, based on Dax's reaction to Dave. Right. Because Dave is basically, his tweet was basically dismissing any critic right. of that. Right. Like, like, oh, these are out. You're, you're idiots if you think that. Right. And he's like, wait and a minute. And he says, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, so that's why I think, that's yeah, why I... he did I, it publicly. And he yeah. did right. it publicly. He did it publicly. Right. That, that is so why I would think... going on. Right, yeah. exactly. And we, we, hopefully we'll find out. Conan, Dax, you, you speak I know to you these don't, guys. Dax, I know you don't give a f- Come on our show, and if you want to let us know what's going on in a political way or not political way, you're free. And if you, even if you don't want to talk about that, We'd like to have you on the show. Right. If you even want to talk about what, what you thought I said about you and like I, I think my comments oh, are misconstrued. Thing. Right. Yeah. So like, you know, I'm, I'm the bro, I'm very I'm a I'm a big fan of those guys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I I just I just gave my take on, you know, basically their narrative these days. Yeah, he probably might have heard it from somebody else. Oh, right. he's burying you when you were right. burying I'm the, the, bro, not, the, I, he, I, we were burying it in general. I would him. never call them thigh slappers. I would never call them um uh, what was the other one? Uh yeah, because they, they don't like punch. Because yeah, yeah, I actually talked yeah. about they do punch, and I and I actually yeah. he actually retweeted a spot they did in that second match where him and the the, the Briscoe guy started slugging it out in the middle of the ring, punching each other. And I even spoke on this podcast that was a good spot. 
I like that. So like so so your thing of like that I don't I say you don't punch it's not true. Um but I did I did make a point that you know if you're chasing your legacy these days and you want your legacy to be a thing it's like okay my deal is like okay what does your legacy mean right now other than you're having these great matches cuz like my thing is le- legacies are built on angles and storylines. You know that that's what makes people remember cuz Roddy Piper's work did not define his legacy. It was like his promos, his every, his, the angles he did, hitting snooker with the coconut, you know, stuff and everything. So my thing is, like, what are you guys doing to enhance your legacy other than being great workers? You know, that that, that would be my – not even a criticism. It's just a question, you know, so. But, you, but yeah, I'd like to have him on. And um, you, you'd think with All Out coming up, which I guess you could – categorize as their WrestleMania or Starcade. You know, they're having Punk right. versus Moxley, the two top guys, you know, in a title versus title match. You'd think they'd have the two top tag teams wrestling as well, which would be the Bucks and FTR, but that's not the you case. You would think. Yeah. You would think. 